Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop and Instagram tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seamless multi split carousel photos for Instagram using Photoshop. So, this is when you have one photo in Instagram and you can slide over to the left and you have kind of like a seamless extended photo using the carousel feature. And in its basic form, you can do this with two photos, but a carousel allows you to do up to 10 photos. In this video, I'm going to show you the two and three method, and you can just ex expand on that however much you want. But to begin, we're going to open up Photoshop, uh, have your photo in mind, and we're going to create a new document. So File, New, and we're going to just use... So if we keep in mind the standard square image for Instagram is like 1080 by 1080. And you can Google the different dimensions for Instagram recommended for like portrait photos or whatnot but we're gonna keep it square. And the next thing you wanna keep in mind is if you have one square, that's 1080 by 1080. But if you have two squares, then we're just gonna double the width because we're swiping horizontally left and right. So a two square image would be, just do simple math either in your head or calculator, but that's 2160. That's two squares of 1080 by 1080 put right next to each other. If you wanna do three, then you'll just add another 1080 onto that so 3, 2, 40. So I'll show you the two square example first. If we just do 2160 and create this new document. Remember, we're working in pixels there, not inches or anything else. Create this new document. You can visually see this is two squares stacked next to each other. However, if we want it just to be one seamless photo, we're just going to fill up this canvas with one photo. So I'll just be using the skyline example. But this, for a two square image, this could be interesting. And notice how I'm just dragging it in there. I'm just taking this tab, pulling it out into its own window, and then dragging that layer into this new canvas. And now I can arrange this photo, which is pretty large in dimension. I'll just press Edit, Free Transform, or use the Command T shortcut. And I can just pull it in. When I'm squeezing in, I'm holding Alt to pull in from both sides. But basically, you can just fit it in there however you like. Again, when you're working with the two photo style, uh, some other interesting examples I've seen is where the point of interest of the photo is split right down the middle. So whether you have someone's face, you have the left side of their face over here and the right side of their face on the other one, it makes for a cool swiping experience. But I'll press Enter. And to be honest, for a two square photo, if you simply just save this as a PNG to your desktop or wherever you like, and then be able to send it to your phone and get it on there so you can post on Instagram. If you just save it in this one way, really, you don't have to do any slicing and splicing in Photoshop. Um, just by the common sense workaround that when you send this to Instagram or your phone, simply duplicate the the photo on your phone and then when you upload to Instagram for the first carousel photo just make sure it's dragged all the way to the left edge for the second carousel photo make sure it's dragged all the way to the right edge and when you post it it'll just be seamless it kind of saves you the Photoshop step of things however that won't work when you're doing it for something that is three panel so in this case 3 to 40 by 1080 this is three squares stacked up to each other. It'd be kind of hard to use that edge trick because you'd have to eyeball the middle perfectly. So in this case, and remember, if you ever want to just get all your open tabs back, just go to Window, Arrange, Consolidate All to Tabs, and I can get all my open tabs back. But in this case, I'm going to do that same thing, drag this photo or however you want to drag your photo into this horizontal canvas. Press Command-T or Edit Free Transform to scale this down to size. And I'm just using a photo, but remember you can use text graphics, layers, you can create whatever kind of document you want in here. Um, but yeah, you can create gradients, text documents, whatever. And in this case, we're gonna wanna create some splices, but this is pretty easy. Just go to view, new guide layout. This will open up the new guide layout menu. And since everything is mathematically divisible, just simply input in the column menu that you want three columns. Um, so no rows, just uncheck the rows. But three columns, it'll evenly divide three columns and 
This gives us three 1080 by 1080 guides. But then you want to grab your splice tool right here under the crop tool. And you want to click this button here that says slices from guides. And that'll automatically create slices from that guide layout that we created. But it was a pretty simple process as you see. Now we have everything sliced into one, two, three box. And we're simply going to go to file, export, save for web. Um, it's still in this kind of legacy menu for some reason. They haven't updated the way that you can do this. But for now it's here. And you can choose the type a file so I'm going to choose PNG you can choose JPEG and when you press save it'll allow you to save it wherever you want so on your desktop or a folder that you like but just make sure you choose all slices so that it recognizes those slices and when I press save so it'll export out into a folder wherever I saved it and it'll give me images one two and three which are the squares and then I'll simply send those over to my phone or wherever I'm posting from. And I will post those on Instagram in that order in a carousel. So image one, two, and three, and it'll post in a seamless carousel. So you can use this method for anything from two to 10 photos, or if you're just kind of being lazy, you can use that two method photo for a quick hack. If you want to see the example of this, you can check out, I'll post this image on my Instagram at Justin OD Show. Go ahead, give me a follow on there. Shoot me a message if you want to show me the carousel that you created. I'd love to check it out. And you can subscribe to my channel here to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.